Hello, it is Friday, February 4th, 2011. My name is John, and the gentleman in the picture above here on the top left. This video should be available in 1080p. The, the code will be available as well. This video is to show you guys how to get absolute perfection when trying to style the file input across all the rendering engines or browsers and how to make sure that no matter where they click, you will always get a file dialog. So we're, we're aiming for absolute perfection here, and I'm going to demonstrate this first. So we're going to demonstrate this in Firefox 3.6, Opera 11, and Explorer 8, Safari 4, and for those of you who absolutely hate it, they'll require it, Internet Explorer 6. So let's go ahead and start anywhere I click in here, on the left, the middle, the right, I get the file dialog. Let's go to Opera. Left, middle, the right. Let's go to Inner Explorer. Eight. Left, the center, the right. Safari 5. Left, center, right. And let's go to Inner Explorer 6. Left, center, right. Now, as you see, this, these are, um, when you look at each browser, right here is the unstyled version at the bottom of the file input. So you can see that by default, even without the style, without attempting to style them, there's there's no cross-browser consistency. And this is the main goal that we're trying to achieve. The second goal is to make sure that no matter where in the in the makeshift file input which is really actually what I have here is a text input and a button input element. Um, and so the first goal is what we actually do is we take this file input, uh, the text input element, which doesn't actually do anything. So if, if this file input wasn't above this, because if we have another file input directly above this, this is a trick. What we do is we change the opacity of the file input above it. So this file input has a greater Z index. If you know what Z index is, it is uh, height. And, uh, when you go horizontal, that's X. When you go vertical, that's Y. And the, the stacking from the screen getting closer to you, the closer you get to you and the further away from the screen, the higher the Z index number is. So these two elements have a lower Z index than the file input above it uh, that has like a negative margin. So it's actually a very, very simple trick that you can use. And so another issue that we uh, there is is in Firefox, you cannot use the style, you cannot use styling or any kind of CSS to adjust the width of this file input. So what you actually have to do is you have to use the size attribute, so size equals 39 in this example. And so the now one of the other issues is in some of the browsers like Opera, I believe, yes, you notice that as I'm clicking here, nothing happens. If I click on the button, I have to click on the button. Let's see if, how Inner Explorer works. I have to double click. So clicking once doesn't do anything. I have to double click. Safari, that's subjective. So we don't want that. We want complete, absolute consistency because that's what we want because we're going to have nothing less. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys. So the second trick to that is actually adjusting the positioning. And I have a second tab open here in the browsers. And I'm going to just demonstrate visually. Now, I've reduced the opacity, and you can see the file input and what I'm actually doing is I'm moving the trigger area of the file input when you move over this divisible element that contains these two file inputs. Now again this file input has zero opacity in the final version but in our demonstration so that you guys can visually see what I'm doing here and this is this was very tricky. Now there are no JavaScript errors. There are no lame JavaScript frameworks. They are all lame. This is minimal code 
This will even work in Internet Explorer 6 because you guys know that I was going to come through for you. You know it. No inner HTML, no document, right? This will work in XHTML, so there's application XHTML slash. Uh, yeah, application XHTML slash uh, plus XML. I always get that uh, saying wrong, but. And XHTML capable browser. So, you betcha. So, no matter where we, where we click, this is going to come out. Now, some of you might say, well, what if I don't want it to click over here? Well, what would you rather have? this down here this ugly thing or would you rather have this and of course I didn't bother to style um, this here in our Explorer 6 this is a standalone file but you guys get the idea you, you, I, I did all the heavy lifting for you guys so now let's look at some code because that's what you guys want and if you watch the video in 1080p I'll try to get the code in the video below if it doesn't work uh, feel free to message me or visit my site so what we do here to achieve this we also have to consider if there is no JavaScript enabled so we disable the JavaScript boom it falls back automatically to the default so reload the page with the JavaScript boom so the point of that is that if the JavaScripts not in, we obviously you want to do this with JavaScript and if the JavaScript is disabled then obviously we want to fall back to its most reliable so we can't do this reliably with CSS on the file input directly we can only use it on the two elements that are styled below it but that what we make the user think that they're clicking on so what I have done here with the JavaScript is we have two functions we have the window onload event with an anonymous function here and we're setting the styling and the position that we'd only do w when we know we can do this reliably instead of putting it in the the code directly and we have the if window dot event listener we do it for the standards compliant browsers and if we have Attach, bot, uh, attach event that's for Internet Explorer 8 and older. The event listener will work correctly. The standards compliant version should work correctly for Internet Explorer 9 and newer, whenever they come up with newer versions of the browser. So, the, so this does all the styling, and I've chose the mouse move event for the standards compliance browsers and of course you have to use the prefix on so on mouse move event for Internet Explorer basically and so we have a couple things we have the styling left being set and then we fix the position and we have what we have to do is we have to pass uh, we have the attach event here for the file and then we have to pass this is an anonymous function you gotta love anonymous functions and we pass an event we pass the event and we pass the event to the function that we're calling in the attached event or the event listener event so here we have the attached event so we're going to fix position so we go up to this function up here in this fixed position again we capture the event and then again, if the event listener for standards compliance, you always program for standard compliant browsers first and then Internet Explorer. And we capture the position, the horizontal position of the cursor. And by the code here that I have for my demonstration to display it in my website, uh, of course, you can adjust this code. Feel free to take this code and do whatever you want with it. But here we do have the styling, and we do have to uh, use the pixel, the PX for the pixels. You may choose different unit type, uh, unit types, which is fine. And we have here, of course, Inner Explorer requires a lot more code. Now, what this is here is uh, this is the detection for Inner Explorer 8 and newer. This is the object, the JavaScript object detection for Inner Explorer 7 specifically, and Inner Explorer 6. 
and just before I set this, apparently it's the same number of pixels for styling for Internet Explorer 6 and 7, so I could actually just get rid of that. And you always test for newer versions of the browser first for more standards compliance, and then you detect your second condition for older browsers. So you always go for standards compliant browsers first with the event listers and then the attach event. And in our Explorer 9 will get captured by the window dot add event listener. So all this is in our Explorer 8 and older. So that's how that works. And so here what we're doing is on the mouse over, remember we're calling this with mouse over, mouse over. And below here for an explorer on mouse over on mouse over so every time we move the mouse we capture we capture where the mouse horizontal position is so when I move the mouse over the element it continuously instantaneously captures and, and triggers this this function we capture the horizontal position and then we set it as that position minus uh, the number of pixels that we need to adjust to move that file input over so when we click that mouse button it's on the part of the file input that will always open with a single click that file window dialog which is our main goal so that is how all of that works so and I hope you you folks find this useful and this works in you know all the different browsers you know, uh, of course, you'll have to adjust the styling for yourselves, but feel free to steal the code to your heart's content. And again, this works even in, in our Explorer 6, the most hated browser of all time, unless you consider Netscape 4. I would definitely put Netscape 4 as, as 100 times worse than our Explorer 6. You can, I mean, it's painful, deathly painful to work with Internet Explorer 6, but Netscape 4 you couldn't do anything with. Uh, well, that's subjective to what your goals were, but yeah. So, that's the source code, and here we have the, yeah, this is how I do my code. I don't chop it up into little itty bitty, itty -bitty pieces. Actually, give you guys like one ten seconds here to look at the screen here to to write down the code or whatever if you're ten, in 1080p, and I will try to get a copy of, of the code in the video description below. Feel free to comment and ask your questions. I will not go in depth. I will not answer how do I do something super duper specific. I will, however, give you my general advice and what direction to go in. If you're absolutely brand new and learning this, then you're you're probably going to want to learn the other stuff, the basics first, uh, but feel free to bookmark this or add this to your favorites and come back to it in due time. So that's all. I mean, this took me like a couple hours to, go, to throw together and figure out, and I hope that my efforts uh, will help you guys save a lot of time and be able to use this for what you need to do. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys around.